Oh yeah. Oh yeah. It's the CXM experience. Now we're back again every weekday. And I'm Grad Khan, CXO at Sprinkler, here to talk about customer experience management or CXM. So today I thought it would be uh, kind of fun. I'm in a sort of endorphin mood because I, I just went on a long bike ride and I'm currently hiding out in Florida. Uh, and uh, and we'll be down here for Thanksgiving, um, but we've you know kind of got here early so we could quarantine for two weeks, and then there's a bunch of family time, and then we head back to the the big city and we'll quarantine again. So, um, but right now uh, I'm in I'm in Florida, and so decided to go on a, a nice long bike ride, and went down to the beach and had just a great time, uh, and kind of came screaming back just in time. Uh, to hit my podcast recording time for today. And I thought it would be kind of fun uh, to uh, talk a little bit about what goes on behind the scenes at the CXM experience. Uh, so a couple things. Uh, one is uh, I record the CXM experience every day. Uh, it's something that I think is really important. It's important to have a daily rhythm about it. So I'm not doing like a 50 of these and then having them cut up like a lot of TV shows do. This is every day. I do what I'm doing, and so I'm able to be topical about what's happening at the moment. Uh, second thing is that I do these straight. Uh, we're using a program called Zencaster to do it, and uh, this is just me talking straight without any edits. So I just put it straight into Zencaster, uh, and off we go. Number three, I do not use a script. So I'll have uh, sometimes a deck or two or some materials that I'm looking at, but these aren't scripted out. That allows me to do it every day. You know, a lot of people say, oh, wow, you're doing a daily podcast. I would never have the time for that. And I'm like, well, it, it really only takes me about a half an hour a day to do it. So it's really uh, not a ton of overhead and uh, super, super fun. Um, next, uh, my producer, and uh, this is the person who makes it all happen behind the scenes, Randy. And uh, Randy can't say hello because he's not on a mic right now, but uh, Randy is an invaluable, um, unbelievably hardworking member of the team. And Randy sort of makes it all happen, gets stuff posted, gets things on all the different channels. Uh, he and I will throw topics back and forth and honestly couldn't never in a million years do this without him. And so Randy and I were talking just before the um, before the podcast today and we're sort of joking around because I, we I was going to do a bunch of AI stuff today and then I just wasn't in the mood to talk about AI. <laughs> Nothing wrong with AI. I just I love AI, but I just wasn't in an AI mood. And so I wanted to talk about something else. And so Randy sort of joked around and he said, you know, you know, maybe there's maybe there's a customer experience day. Like, like there's a day for everything. And so uh, that triggered two things. One is um I did want to talk about how there's a day for everything. I actually think there's there's something there that's never been leveraged, and I'll 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 put it out in the universe and see what happens. Um, and I'll do that in a second. The second thing is I just Googled, you know, customer experience day. And lo and behold, there is a customer experience day. We all missed it, unfortunately. Uh, but each year on the first Tuesday in October, the CX community celebrates the professionals and companies that make great customer experiences happen. And this celebration is known as CX Day. Uh, where it's an opportunity to recognize great customer work, uh, discover professional development opportunities, and strengthen professional networks. And this is brought to you by the Customer Experience Professionals Association, uh, CXPA. And you can hit their site at cxpa.org. And it's a, you know, I, I literally just discovered this because I was, you know, sort of Google searching on something. Um, there is a, a little video dis describing what CX Day is. Uh, they have their own hashtag, of course, which is hashtag CX Day. Really logical, and uh, and they have like CX Day celebrations uh, around the web, and they have pictures of people in different locations, which is which is pretty cool. And so uh, and they talk about their momentum, and they have a discussion forum. You can attend events, and they got thanks to their sponsors. So. Um, I, uh, and they've got some case studies. So they've got a CXA sponsor, uh, CX Day sponsor, excuse me, um, uh, called UserMind. And they're, they're talking about some of their case studies as well. So kind of a cool looking org. I'm gonna, I think I'm going to join and sort of find out more and get involved in them. But 
uh, for now, uh, that is uh, for all of you to sort of take a look too. CX Day. Uh, all right, so so let me talk about days. You know, I've all this is like a I've had this stone in my shoe for a long time, which is there is a day or a week or a month, even years assigned to everything. You know, there's National Teddy Bears Day, there's National Hot Dog Day, there's, there's you know, there's you know, very serious things like Breast Cancer Awareness Month and um, uh, Black History Month, which, you know, is, is coming up in, in uh, February and uh, many, many, many other things. In fact, if you were just to start kind of Googling all those, there are literally thousands of days, you know, and people declare days for towns, people declare days for movements, People declare days for people. People declare days for objects. People declare days for brands. It's 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 never ending. And I've always thought that it would be really cool to create a calendar of all the days, a dynamic, always updating, and it would be non-trivial because there are so many. Uh, but I think it would be doable in terms of being able just to search and pull it in tool like sprinkler could easily do something like that and create a calendar of every single day. And then on all those days, make sure that there is social content and amplifiable content for that day available. And, and so, that, so take it. I mean, someone should do this and I don't know what you call it. You call it, you know, I don't know, days of the year.com or something like that. I mean, I just, I do feel like it would be a great tool and a lot of marketers would subscribe to it. Uh, because I would love to know what day it is. And I'd love to know what I can say that would be pithy and clever and get to a certain target. Now, if I really wanted to be sort of cool about it, I would have that calendar also connected to all the organizations that are sponsoring those days. And many of them would be nonprofits, not all, but many would be nonprofits. And wouldn't it be cool to allow sort of an aggregated nonprofit collection machine to be running where you're basically pulling in all the people who want to advertise in a targeted way to people in a way that they would care because I, I care that it's say CX day. Um, and so someone could come to me and talk about CX day and I'll listen. Uh, and then there can be exchange of, of, you know, donations or whatever and take an exchange on that. So I don't know, I think that would be super fun to do and it'd be, it would be great to have as a resource. So if you build that, would you please let me know? I'd love to, I'd love to take a look. So, um, Last thing for today, and it's just my sort of fun Amazon story of the week. Uh, so I'm, I'm here in Florida, as I mentioned. Uh, I do like toys. I play with toys a lot. There's always a toy on my desk. Um, but packing for this trip, I didn't even think about taking a toy because I didn't kind of fully cross my mind I was going to be here for a month, which is a pretty long time. And sure enough, after a few days, I was starting to get really antsy. My hands were just like looking for something to play with. I need something to keep me distracted. And uh, it's funny how Amazon works. I really don't understand it sometimes. I get an email from Amazon and a new toy is out, Iron Robot. Uh, so it's an Iron, you know, actually the movie Iron Giant. So there's this Iron Robot in the movie Iron Giant. And um it's a brand new version of it has come out with eyes that light up and uh, the little kid sits on the shoulder with a magnet and it's articulated with 16 points of articulation. And uh, Amazon just popped it up and just sort of said, hey, check this out. And I don't know what they're looking at. They're probably looking at my buying patterns. They could see me buying a lot of household goods, like I'm buying washing liquid and things like that that are sort of not normal um, they could see that I was shipping everything to a different address. So maybe I was setting up a new household. They now have a long history of buying robots and space toys. So that's that's clearly going on there as well. Nonetheless, I couldn't have pressed buy fast enough. And Iron Giant is sitting on my desk right now. And the eyes do light up and they're amazing. And it is articulated in 16 points and it's incredible. And you know, that's a great example of customer experience. You know, it it's not necessarily about how you treat someone on the way out the door or at the transaction, it's often about how you bring the transaction to them. You know, Amazon essentially did this great service for me, which is, we think you might be lonely. We think you might need a toy. Here's a toy we think you might like. And I'm like, yes, please. I couldn't be happier. They got me to pay them money to send it to me and to buy it. Uh, and I feel like I am owe a debt of gratitude to Amazon because they've given me something 
uh, to keep my hands busy at the desk. So, you know, a really interesting way of thinking about CX, which is not just the flow, but also the discovery mechanism and getting people to it. And then, you know, the great thing about Amazon is that the flow was very smooth and very quick. And I was able to uh, transact my Iron Giant purchase really quickly. So that's it for today. Uh, thank you for listening. Uh, this is the CXM Experience with Brad Khan. And um, I'll see you next time. Bye.